you know, diatomaceous earth has been around for a long time, like millions and millions of years. And what it is, it's a powder made up of fossilized diatoms. Now, what is a diatom? Well, that is basically algae or phytoplankton. And over eons, this uh, phytoplankton dies and becomes fossilized and ends up in the bottom of a lake. And the unique thing about diatomaceous earth is it's loaded with silicon, okay? Now, when silicon is exposed to oxygen, it becomes silica. And silica is really good for connective tissue, uh, joints, and your bone. In fact, calcium can't even help you form bone without silica. So to help the mineralization of bone and to prevent osteoporosis and osteopenia, you definitely need enough silica. Silica is also necessary to make ligaments, tendons, cartilage. Your nails become strong with enough silica. They become brittle without silica. Your hair becomes brittle without silica. Your skin loses the strength without silica. And so if your skin is wrinkly or you have loose skin, uh, you may benefit from silica. The strength of your aorta and your vessels need silica. And so silica could potentially prevent an aneurysm. Silica is also needed to build a strong trachea. And so there's different types of collagen and silica stimulates type one collagen. And diatomaceous earth has some other interesting benefits. It can help you potentially get rid of parasites and worms and pathogens and even E. coli because it helps to scrub and sweep away these microbes in your intestinal tract. And the third thing that it can help you with is binding with aluminum. Now, normally diatomaceous earth has aluminum in its structure, but it's very tightly bound to silica. And even just like different types of clay or rocks, like quartz, for example, has aluminum in it that's very, very tightly bound. But when you take diatomaceous earth, this aluminum is not going to leach out in your body. In fact, it's going to bind aluminum and it has a strong affinity for it. It's going to pull it in and bind to it and remove it from the body. So if you're going to take diatomaceous earth, uh, whether you're going to do a detox program or you're going to strengthen uh, something in your body, start off with one teaspoon per day in a glass of water, okay? And then over the next three days, maybe you increase it to two teaspoons per day. It's important to take it on an empty stomach because you need strong stomach acids to absorb this trace mineral. And so a lot of people don't have a very, very strong acidic stomach. And so they have a very difficult time extracting the silica from this diatomaceous earth. So to improve the absorption, it might be smart to add apple cider vinegar to that water or take a few betaine hydrochloride little uh, tablets when you're taking this. But this hydrochloric acid helps you convert the silica into an, a more absorbable form called orthosilicic acid. Now, if you're just trying to build up this connective tissue, maybe you just want to get this as a supplement, but Taking diatomaceous earth has some other great benefits as well, like I said. Now, since we're on the topic of connective tissue, I think you should really watch this video right here.